Funky, 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 with a very, very positive message that is much needed in this world. And this time comes around every year. So make sure you say happy Mother's Day to your mother. Show some respect. Show, show her some love. You know what I'm saying? Let her know. Just appreciate it. And we're going to do this in our way with music, with this riff, episode 176. So let's get right to it. I mean, the first note is F sharp. No, the key is F sharp major, but the first note is A sharp. And before we get into it, um, I know you, you peeped the gear, Cap. Make sure you uh, check out the link, get your thinking cap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that brainstorm thinking cap is at breezybrainstorm.com, uh, link below. Um, but no more promo, because we're here to show love. So the first note is A sharp. And as you can see also, one more thing, I've got the five string out because We'll be playing the low B string today. I'll only bring this out when it's needed. Um, I'll leave my opinions on this bass because it's been asked many episodes ago how I felt about it in my other bass. But I'll make a separate video on that. Um, we're almost to 200, so we'll be doing other types of content soon. But let's get into this riff. So that's the gist of the riff. Like I said, we are in F sharp major where every sharp, every note is sharp except B. That is the only note in this key that is not sharp. Um, so let's break it down. The root, the crux of this riff is A sharp, B, G sharp, D. So in the key of F sharp major, that would be Three, four, two, five, two, six, I'm sorry. Three, four, two, six. The D sharp is the sixth of F sharp. The G sharp is the second, because here's F sharp. We don't use that. So we're in the note, the fret range of four, six and seven for the crux of this riff one more time and i'm playing it with my ring finger on the a sharp so that i can use as little movement as possible <clears throat> pinky on b um index finger on g sharp and either pinky or ring finger on um the D sharp, that is fret uh, six, seven on the, the E string, four on the E string, then six on the A string. And we use our pinky finger to come back home to A sharp, pinky finger to on B, then ring finger on A sharp. Then the pinky finger back to the B. Index finger on the fourth fret, which is G sharp. And whether pinky, I will say use your ring um, finger for the sixth fret, which is the, G, the D sharp. So since that is the crux of the riff, there are turnarounds and slides in this song. Um, I'm going to break down the two turnarounds. There's that low B. Makes it worth it. It doesn't happen on every part of the riff. It happens sparingly. It's, it's used um, 
very sparingly throughout the song. So let's run that back one more time. Six fret. And my pinky finger hits the B. What you want to do is let go. So you want to make sure that you are muting these strings because now we have a whole nother string to make sure it's not ringing. And it's very important that every note comes out clear. So we have the the um, A sharp, then we hit the A sharp real quick and go to the B. Okay. Make sure when you hit the B, you keep your finger, your um, pinky finger on the B to make sure that it stopped ringing. Then use your pinky finger to hit the same fret string below it, the B string, which is F sharp, the fifth of B. Then let it go and hit the open B. What might help with this is to use your pinky to bar in advance, but you're gonna to have to be really strategic with that move because now that you're using one finger on two strings, you have to make sure you're not ringing both strings at the same time. And that'll make it very muddy because you're using the two lowest strings on the bass. See? So what I like to do is because the riff is slow enough, you can take your finger off and use your other fingers to keep the string muted and still use your pinky to hit the F sharp. And I'm really going over this specifically because with five string bass, the main thing with it is to make sure you're muting all the strings because it gets extremely muddy and it's really noticeable if you do not take care to make sure each note is defined and not getting muddied out by the other strings. So I'm just wanting to make sure that I'm making that clear that you need to take extra care in doing that. Let's run it back from the beginning. Now that we've gone through the second time, we hit, we hit the, G, the D sharp, sixth fret A string with my ring finger. So then we're going to go to the C sharp with my index finger, same string, fourth fret. Now I'm gonna use my pinky to go to the B and my ring finger to go back to A sharp. When you put it all together, that's the riff. Just use those turnarounds and fills sparingly throughout the song, but you can generally just rock from A sharp to B to G sharp to D. And once in a while you hit a, or a, and from what I've heard, the two slides are from the A sharp to the, uh, what is that? The D sharp. And I believe I heard another slide from F sharp to the A sharp. I believe, right? No, I believe that the first one is the G sharp to D sharp, so a fifth.
yeah, I believe those are the two slides. Um, that's just off going off the ear right now. You can figure that out and then incorporate them as you go along learning this riff and listening to the song all the way through and you pick and choose places to add those um, sentiments. But um, that's the riff. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, short and sweet. Go and spend time with your mother because she all, won't always be here. So make sure you let her know that she's appreciated. It's your brother Breezy Brainstorm, episode 176 of the Hip Hop Riff of the Week. Like I said, merch, all of that stuff is out. And hit the links below so you know what's going on. Um, I'm building a community. Um, you will find out about that very soon, if not already, when this is released. So I'm going to catch y'all on the flip with your brother Breeze. Peace. Oh,